Hello everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of Funny Stories with Ocean. Stop. That was did awesome. You really, did you really do it like that? I told you, every week it's going to be different. It's going to be uh, different. That's what's up. Every week it's going to be different. That's that was super right. clever. That was, that was clever. Uh, and that was Tom on the introduction. Yo, welcome to another episode of Funny Stories with Ocean. Of course, I'm your host, Ocean Glapion, and we got our co-host, Kristen. The newscaster. The newscaster slash entertainment. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's it. as entertainment news. Yes, entertainment how's your news. week been? My week's been good. Uh-huh. Um, what I've did been, you do? I honestly have been binging this show called Kingdom. I'm obsessed, and I can't stop watching it. Uh-huh. What's um, it about? So... It's about like UFC fighting, okay. like MMA. Yeah. So it's on Netflix. Uh-huh. But yeah, I've been, that's all I've been doing. Really? Yeah. You've been watching that? Yeah. Nonstop. Nonstop. I it's so good. I actually that show. It's actually a really good show. You did. It's a, yeah, it's about fighters. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's about this guy who runs the gym. Mm-hmm. And uh, his ex, or well, his girlfriend is, was with his number one fighter. And they have this whole dynamic, and it's, it's really good. It's a really good show. Mm-hmm. It's old, though. It's not, like, new. Yeah, 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 yeah. So someone told me about it recently, so I was like, all right, I'm 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 out of stuff to watch because uh-huh. quarantine's got me watching everything. Yeah. So I decided to check it out, and that's all I've been doing is okay. literally and watching this show. what are you drinking show. this week? Okay. <laughs> ah, your boy so, got you all caught. So I'm usually White Claws, right? Uh-huh. 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 But someone was like, hey, check out this Truly's pineapple. Uh-huh. And I'm not going to lie, I actually really like it. However, I'm not, I'm still not on the Truly side because the original, like, Truly's versus the original, like, White Claw, like, pack, White Claw still has it. But I, I have to say, like, even yours, these are good. Those are okay, good. Okay, these right? are good. But right, so this week, yeah. I am drinking, last week I drank Truly pineapple this week i'm drinking truly lemonade uh but and I it's did, good i've tried that good. one too that one's but good but it's been a horrible week for me because i've been just eating pizza oh. and i have not uh lost any weight this week uh i knew I, this was gonna happen did you know it was I, gonna happen? I knew this was gonna happen that's why i was like you you need to say it you need to weigh yourself on camera because you have to hold yourself cannibal accountable and uh-huh. i knew you weren't gonna do it no so yeah so here i am uh i think i gained three pounds this week <laughs> uh being just a fat ass that's why i'm wearing all black so y'all can't see me uh with that all right are you ready for the entertainment news give it up for Kristen, everybody yes all right. and the entertainment i'm uh-huh. the only one that's gonna clap time you're not gonna clap in here appreciate you we need some sound effects that's what we need Next, (laughs) (laughs) next week we need to do sound effects. The crowd goes wild. Okay, okay. That's all we we need. A sound effect. Sound effects. uh, When we do entertainment, like entertainment news, news, and when we have our guests Mm -hmm. and they tell their story, they gotta go. Story time. Story time. Story time. Yeah, I don't know why you're so hooked on that. You're really hooked on the like. I am. The I've been repetitive... watching competitive. Yeah, I've been watching Joe Button's uh, podcast, and that's what he that's does. That's why he does a lot of do 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 do. It's a lot of sounds. Competitive sounds. It's a lot of competitive sounds. Repetitive. It's a lot of that. As a former morning radio guy, <laughs> uh-huh. those people can go fuck right the fuck off. <laughs> why is Tom's that? like I'm not all doing the, that, Ocean. Sorry. <laughs> fucking early in the morning <laughs> zoo crew radio, <laughs> they can go fuck right the fuck off. Exactly, but. Is done correctly because people in podcast land love to hear do, 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 do. those people don't have souls <laughs> exactly that what it is right. and they can also go fuck right the fuck off okay that's what's up okay. Tom's, Tom's all right Tom extra spicy we know how Tom feels week. okay and, Tom and no extra... sound effects for you Ocean yeah, sorry Tom you are extra <laughs> spicy this week what's going on you, you had how was week? your week Tom yeah. <laughs> It's Monday. It's Monday. Uh, it is Monday. And everyone can go fuck right the fuck off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's how we're going with it today. I get it. I get it. That's well, thank you is. for having us. I didn't even I didn't even do the intro. I'm so tired. I let the computer do the intro. Yeah, yeah. you did that. You did yeah. do that. That's fine. That's good. All right, let's do it. You ready? Yeah. Hold on. Cheers. Cheers. I think to, my to I think Truly's. To Truly's. I think this my new thing day. is just like the angry dude. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Be the information guy that you normally You're are. You're not the angry, Tom. The angry, angry information guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Have you seen this uh, TV show Kingdom? 
Have what you seen now? it? On I Netflix. Watch, I don't watch television. Oh. You don't watch television now? Time. That's sad. What, okay. When do I have time to watch television? You're absolutely That's right. You're, you're a busy guy, you're Tom. You're a busy guy. That's what I, everybody will know. I'm not very busy. That's why I have all the time in the world. Yeah, your hair is up today. I love oh, it. Oh, yeah, it my hair good. is up. Why did you decide to uh, put your hair up today? Because I watched back our episode last week and I kept fucking touching my goddamn hair last week and I was getting really irritated and I was were like, you? that's it. I'm not touching my hair this week. What were you doing? But it's you hot, were, too. It's the, hot. You were doing white girl thing? You were no, I just... You, I, you guys don't know this, but it's hot in here. Uh-huh. And so I kept touching my hair because it was so hot. So this week I'm like, I'm not touching my hair. I'm going to have it up. Well, it looks good. Up. Thank you. People can see your bone structure. I think Face. we can open the door. I mean, it's pretty no, cool. No, 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 it's, it's good. Fine. This week is amazing. Yeah. This week, it was just last week. Yeah, last week. But last week, it was like in the hundreds mm-hmm. all week long. We yeah. were, everyone was and dying. And even at 7 o'clock at night. Yeah. yeah, it's been nice these past few days. It's been real nice. Yeah. But last week, mm, it was horrible. Yeah. That's right. So bad. All right, first question. Let's go. All right, first question. Here we go. All right. So... <laughs> <laughs> this one makes me laugh. Okay. okay. So Nicole Richie, a.k.a. Nikki Fresh, who? just... <laughs> who? So wait, Nicole Richie, you know who Nicole Richie I is, know right? Who okay. Nicole Richie so is. a.k.a. Let me finish. A.k.a. Nikki Fresh. Wait, just... wait, 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 wait. Who calls her Nikki Fresh? <laughs> wait, wait, that's if she gave wait her... you guys gotta let me... <laughs> Say she... my thing before you interrupt. <laughs> Jesus. Let me finish. Okay, Nikki so, Fresh. Uh, Nicole Richie, a.k.a. Nikki Fresh, just released a rap album about her organic vegetables. Are you going to check it out? <laughs> I don't. Wait, none of those words go together. Yes, it does. Okay, so she recently just released an album on Apple Music, and it's literally an album about her rapping about her organic vegetables, but like health. So like there's one about like energy and one about like her being a mom and like one, and there's a few about like eating organic vegetables. I'm not lying. Okay, I checked it out Okay, so this is a today. real album. Like she came it's out. It's on Apple Music. Did you, did you check it out and did you listen to I it? I did. I like, and I did. And what did you think of it? I mean, I think it's kind of a joke. I mean, it's quarantine. I'm like, maybe that's all she had to do, but... Also, again, uh, who calls her Nikki that, Fresh? That she came up. I don't know. Maybe that you she came up with that name. That's her rap name. Her rap Everyone name needs a rap name. Nikki no? Fresh. How old is you, Nicole? You can't give yourself your own rap name. That's like playing basketball. Why not? You can't give yourself your own nickname in basketball. Somebody has to give it to you. They you call me T Bone. No, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. Nobody calls you T Bone. <laughs> You call you T-Bone. All right, so what's the question? What's the question again? Oh, so, I mean, like, are you going to check it out? I checked it out. I'm not going to check it out. Why would I check anything out? Because I think it's interesting. About her vegetables, and that's what she's talking about. No, but the fact that she even put an album out about it. But she put beats together, and she's going to talk about vegetables. Some of the beats are actually, I was like, oh, this sounds good. But then she started. (laughs) I'm so sick of vegans. I swear to God, I'm so uh, done. My boy is a vegan. That's all he wants to talk about is veganism and how much he loves being a vegan. But they all look like that. You you could tell who's a vegan when you walk into Trader Joe's because they Trader all Joe's. look like they're about <laughs> to die and they need help walking down the street. Mm-mm. Like that. That's what they look like. You know, LJ, comic LJ. Uh huh. You know how big he is because right. he's a bodybuilder? He's been a vegan for 40 years. Are you serious? Yes. But that's the one that's guy hard. in this world. That's nope. so hard. I Not feel like hard. being a vegan is so hard. It's so hard. Yeah, it, it is it is hard being that much of a douchebag. Like, I can't <laughs> okay. understand how <laughs> how much douche you got to have in you constantly be like, hey, I don't eat animals. Go, Exa- go fuck you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> T-bone. <laughs> like, have you ever wanted to be, like, a vegetarian? Never. I actually, you know Let what? me ask you again, Ocean. Have you ever wanted to go? No, I actually wanted to be a vegan. I watched that uh, TV show, What the Health, and I was eating a, a carne asada burrito as I was watching it, and everybody was like, oh, my God, it's going to be so traumatizing for you, and I was like eating this as I was watching it, and I was like, no, it's cool for me, and then I was a vegan for like... Uh, Six hours while you're sleeping. Yeah, I mean, it was like I was for like Ugh. four months, three months. But you gotta find. That's why I don't stuff. watch any shows about food, like, like vegan or like meat or. Any, I don't watch anything that makes me like. 
think I need to change my mindset on food because no, it's God forbid it's you have traumatizing. No, it's just traumatizing. And then it's just like, I can't stop eating hamburgers. I'm sorry. I, I just mean, can't. Listen, but listen. then every time I eat one, I'm going to think about how they're made or how, like, I just, I can't do it. But it's I a just lot avoid of, it. You got to find a lot of places that eat, that don't have meat. That you got to find vegetarian spots. And it was just too Ooh. much for me. And I went to a party and I ate a hot dog and it was over with. And so I was oh. back to eating And meat. then that's another story, like hot dogs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All no. right, so our next okay, question, anyways. what we got? Well, on the other end of the spectrum, we have a McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so McDonald's will be re- releasing spicy chicken nuggets. <clears throat> A new McFlurry and, like, some sort of spicy sauce September 16th. Um, so these are, like, new items on the menu. Okay. So my question, are you going to be trying these new items out? Will you be in line on September 16th? For spicy chicken nuggets? Yeah, it's like a new thing. My thing is, it, is it going to be the same way they make nuggets now? Or is it going to do a whole new recipe? Because McDonald's nuggets are at the bottom of all fast food nuggets. So I don't want any spiciness. Of, yeah. I don't, it don't even taste like chicken. I think there's a show on that, too. It's the worst. <laughs> like how McDonald's, McDonald's chicken nuggets are Oh, it's made. the worst. What, how is it made? I don't want to talk about it. Why? That's why gross. we're here, to talk about McDonald's nuggets. No, I heard I heard something, and that's why I don't eat McDonald's at all. Oh, if no, I, if I, I do, I will. I'll occasionally, I'll go through the drive-thru for like their french fries and their McFlurry. But other than that, I don't eat anything else. Okay, so McDonald's has the most amazing french fries ever. Uh, but you have to eat it ex- as soon as you get them. Yeah, you can't uh, wait. You can't wait. That's so true. as soon as you get them, you got to eat them hot, fresh, or they're not that good. And I think Carl's Jr. fries are like the worst fries. And I don't eat Chick-fil-A. Carl's Jr. But Chick-fil-A has the best nuggets. So I'm intrigued because it's spicy nuggets. Wendy's but- has the best spicy nuggets. Do they? Yes, they do. Okay, so you're a Wendy's fan. I'm a Wendy's spicy chicken nugget fan, yes, So list your top five restaurants or fast food places that uh, do nuggets. I mean, I only really... If I do spicy chicken nuggets, I tend to only get them from Wendy's. Okay, so you, do, so yeah, you don't even it. get them from Chick-fil-A? No. Uh, have you had Popeye's sandwich? Have you tried that? I do spicy chicken sandwiches at Chick-fil-A and Popeye's. But Which one is better, Chick-fil-A or Popeye's? I mean, I'm going to go Popeye's. Why? I like, the spicy I better? Like, I like their spicy chicken sandwich better than Chick-fil-A. Oh, no, you're crazy. No, I'm not. Oh, uh, you like it too? You like? I did a taste test. Did you? Me and J- uh, George K. Burns. Uh-huh. We got Chick-fil-A, Popeye's, Dave's Hot Chicken. I've never heard of Dave Hodgson. It's a, a local place. There's only two in LA. There's right. one over on Lancashire. And a Popeye's beat, beat uh, hands Chick-fil-A. Down? Well, Not hands really... down. Dave's, it was, Dave's it's beat good. the other two hands down. Yeah, but, but I Popeye's don't... beat Chick-fil-A. Well, see. The, I don't have a Dave's. What, uh, Popeye's. Spicy chicken is not the chicken that's spicy. It's the sauce that's spicy. And I don't really like that sauce And because it's mayonnaise-based. So that means that I'm going to be farting all the time. And I don't do anything white except my women. So therefore, I'm good. That was a great joke. Next one. Now, you guys didn't laugh and none of that. It's going <laughs> fine. All of y'all just sit there and just don't just look at me like I'm crazy. That was a tremendous joke, Tom and Kristen. No, and y'all both just looked at me like it was good. nothing. I just, I, just, I just had that scene of, from Undercover Brother in my head. When he said <laughs> that what it was? So, yeah. All right, go. All right, next question. <clears throat> okay, so Bella Thorne. So Bella Thorne apologizes to fans and sex workers, which I feel really weird saying sex workers. Who? Because I feel like. Oh, I know. Bella Thorne. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, anyways, so apologizes to fans and sex workers after charging two hundred dollars for what they thought would be nude photos, and now fans only created caps on what they can charge and tip. So, like, what, like, you know, what's your question? Like, what Bella can charge and what fans can actually tip and stuff. So, my question is: Would you pay two hundred dollars to see naked photos of Bella Thorne? Would I? Pay, I don't even know who Bella Thorne is. So she's she? like an actress. So. You said they got charged for what they thought was nude photos. Yeah, so were so, they nude photos? No. Then fuck. Her. Right. I don't, but I don't know. she made like two million dollars by doing this, and so, uh, what is it? Fans only. They now put a cap on how much someone can charge their audience per like picture, video, or whatever the hell it is. 
Um, and you can only charge up to $50 and then fans can only tip up to $100. So now everyone's like furious that actually do a fans only page that she they they think like she did that. Well, she did. So what did she show them if it wasn't a nude photo I mean I think $200. they were I think they were photos but I don't think they were like nude nude photos yes yeah, so your question is what would so you what's... would you pay $200 I don't see? know who Bella Thorne is who is she what is she she's done? an actress and she, what movie is she in none so I'm not paying $200 for no girl I don't care if it was Kim Kardashian if it was That's anyone, crazy. I'm not paying. And so this girl I've never, ever heard of is charging people $200. And she made $2 million off of this. And yeah. so now sex workers are upset about it. Which is so weird for me to, like, <laughs> sex workers. I feel like they're, like, prostitutes. I but... feel like they're prostitutes, too. But weird they're that. not. They're sex workers. <laughs> and they have an opportunity <laughs> to make money on the Internet in this free and Bella Thorne just fucked it all up. She fucked it up for everyone. <laughs> Leave it up to white women. To Leave it up to white women. <laughs> Did yeah. nobody ask her to do nothing? She done <laughs> fucked it up. All right. So yeah. next question. What's hey, that? white women, quit it. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. So uh, my last question. So, well, so Brad Pitt, who is 56, is dating a 27-year-old German model who is married to a 68-year-old. But they are in an open relationship. So my question, would you ever be in an open relationship? Uh, With Brad Pitt? Yes. Yeah. You, <laughs> no, Brad would you Pitt? ever be married to someone and have an open relationship with them? But Only mind if it's you, with Brad Pitt. This is like a 29-year-old. Nobody's getting my joke. I'm <laughs> I get it. We get it. We get it. You were being with Brad Pitt. Oh, I got I got it. Now okay. you finally got I, it. I got it. So finally. the question is what? Would you ever be in an open Shitty relationship? Shitty comedian. Uh, yes, I would uh, be in an open relationship um, if both parties were hot. Yeah. So this dude, though, is it, his girl is how old? 27. And the guy he is, she's with is how 68. old? 68. Damn, that's even worse than what our last topic on the last one with uh Sophia and Sophia and what's his name? Uh Sophia and Scott Disick. And Scott yeah, Disick. So yeah. there's a between Brad and his new girl, that's a twenty nine year difference. Right? Damn. So both of them are old as shit. And so mm -hmm. she just must have a fed as fucking old guys. Is that what it is? I don't know. They've been married for eight years. And oh, they have a kid together. Damn. Yeah. So no, I'm a... I'm not doing, if I had to, like if it was a roles reverse where I was the guy. And no, I but if you women. were, if you were just in a normal relationship, like uh -huh. let's say you're dating someone just in a normal relationship, would you consider having an open relationship? That's no. just the general question. No, I no? wouldn't consider okay. having an open relationship. Okay, that's I'm good. Uh, somebody can come watch me and my girl, <laughs> but I, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to have, no, I definitely not going to have no dude in the bed with me. I'm good. I'm good with that. Okay, and does so that no. conclude entertainment? That news concludes for all today. the entertainment I have this this week. I'm so excited for my 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 guest that's coming up. Are you Me excited? Too. I'm very excited. Yeah, very I excited. I'm, I'm excited. So uh, won't you head on out like you always do? Uh, and I'm gonna I this guy is so great. I had to make sure I had all the credits done right because he's he's incredible. So okay, all right. Bye. Cheers. Uh, cheers, cheers! Have uh, a good great. Show. <laughs> You're still involved in the show. What do you mean? Have a good <laughs> show. <laughs> All right, everybody. It's time uh, where this is the part where we have our guests come in and do uh, a tell a funny story. And first, of course, I'm going to talk to him a little bit. Uh, he's a, a studio exec. Uh, uh, he was uh, at Silver Pictures and Revolution Studios. He's worked on movies such as White Chicks, which is every white girl in America's favorite movie. Uh, hey, white he, women. Yeah, they, they love that movie. Broken City. He also produced Rockin', what is it, Rock and Roller? And was an executive producer on Modern Love, which is on Amazon right now. I need you guys to put your hands together for my good friend, Naveeb, y'all. Make some noise, Naveeb. Come on in. Yeah, what's up, buddy boy? Yeah, the beam yeah. is here. What we were doing with these? Taking these? All right. What you drinking? Cheers. Beer. Beer? Cheers. What, what kind of beer? I have to do this sober. <laughs> this is uh, uh, IPA, Voodoo Ranger IPA. And he's a nice. Man of he's a what? 
He drinks beer. No, grab that mic and put it close to you. Is this, is this like if a microphone fucks another microphone, they don't have babies wearing this? Exactly. That's what it is. <laughs> is, uh, is his levels all good, Tom? Is yeah. he good? He's straight? What's good, man? How are Yo, you? How are you? I'm good, I'm good man. This, uh, this was a... Uh, I'm glad you're doing this. Thank Thanks. you for having me. Thanks for having me. So how was it working on White Chicks? Oh, uh, that was fun. Yeah. Um, I actually... Th there's some funny stories around White Chicks. Um, cause we were developing it with the weigh-ins and, um, the, my, the boss, the head of the studio said, before I green light this movie, we have to see a makeup test, see what it looks like. And you can, you could see the makeup test online. Actually, if you Google me, I put a clip up, but, uh, um, there's one with, uh, Sean and Marlon where uh -huh. they're, where they're just the early, early makeup test, but they're sitting there talking about like, I like that boy Navi. He's so sexy. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was fun. It was fun. It was a good time. How yeah. was it working with them? Was it like non-stop laughter? Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. was. It was good. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Those guys are hilarious. Do you have any? Do you have any good stories on that? On that set? None I can tell. Nothing you can tell. <laughs> Top secret. Top secret. <laughs> what is your favorite movie that you produce uh, in your career? Because you produce over like thirty films. No, I mean studio executive or produced. Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, I love a lot of people love rock and roller. Right. You don't. You clearly don't know what the I don't clearly don't know what rock and roller. <laughs> it is. was um guy. It was a guy Ritchie movie. Okay. That um that there was a lot of people in it that at the time nobody really knew who they were. It was like right when Idris was starting to break. Okay. And Jerry Butler had just been in Three Hundred, but Tom Hardy's in it. Uh, this, Tom Hardy's like one of my favorite actors. Yeah. This was like he before like, anybody knew him. who he was. He is so good. Yeah. And what <laughs> I forgot to say that when you were coming up, uh, and I'm so mad that I didn't introduce it this way, but this is white Jesus itself. Fat oh, white yes. Jesus. Fat That's Jesus. Not, oh, I forgot to say <laughs> fat white Jesus. <laughs> is, is, this is our guy right here. We've fat had <laughs> that is your nickname, and that uh -huh. was not given. Always. That was given to I didn't you. make it you up. You didn't make it up. <laughs> that one I did not make up. <laughs> That's why you can't make up. A nickname. It has to be given to no, you. No, but the, do you know the story of how I got it? No, that's what I want to know. How'd you get the story so, of Fat So White it was Jesus? with Tiffany, okay. right? Uh, Tiffany and David took my son and I to uh, one of the, the, I think it was the first uh, Rams game. Okay, when so they came back. Tiffany, uh, just so everybody knows, Tiffany's uh, me and your lawyer. Yeah. She's an entertainment lawyer, very good lawyer. So yeah. go ahead. And uh, they took us, my son and I, to the first Rams game. It was a preseason game. Uh -huh. And we tailgated before it. And there was like this parking lot where everybody was tailgating. We went for like an hour before. Then we went, when we came back, there was still these two Hispanic dudes playing um, beer pong. Okay. Right? And so they were playing. <laughs> and, and they were like, yo, they were telling my son and I, my son looks like Justin Bieber a little bit, okay. right? And they were like, they were telling us, son like, is you guys. very handsome. Thank uh -huh. you. Yeah. He goes, like, you guys, come on, come on. Yo, Justin Bieber, fat Jesus, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> You got it right. now, Fat Jesus. And it's so You're funny. Like, oh, okay. But it's so funny when uh, Tiffany when they was telling me like Fat Jesus, and I, as soon it, they were like the, the Vib is coming, you know, Fat Jesus, and I was like, damn, he does look like a <laughs> Fat Jesus. <laughs> this is what this is what with the hair and everything. This is what Jesus would look like. Actually, if you Google what did Jesus look like, it looks just. Like it just look just like well, you. Just a, yeah, like but just a skinnier virgin. <laughs> Well, that's why he's called Fat that's Jesus. That's why he's called Fat Jesus. <laughs> that's, why also, Jesus. that's also why I wore a black shirt. <laughs> <laughs> could you Could you now, could you be in, a, uh, we were talking about in the entertainment section, could you be in like a, like a threesome relationship like that? Mm. A threesome relationship. Could open, you be in that relationship? open relationship? Open. Tom wants you, because we're going to keep, yeah, he keeps uh, calling for you, but go ahead. I don't know. <laughs> Open relationship? I don't I don't I don't know, but I used to be super super jealous. Right? Really? Like I used to be really jealous. But then I learned that like jealousy is really about your own insecurity, right? right? And now I don't get jealous anymore cuz I don't feel insecure about it. And I am engaged. Okay. And she probably would hate hearing me say she hates that I'm not jealous anymore. <laughs> uh, she but, wants you to be more jealous? Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> I, I don't, don't, don't want to waste the energy on being but, but yo, listen, but your fiance is very beautiful. Thanks. So it's like, uh, why aren't you jealous? If, I mean, if Brad Pitt, want, like, go ahead. <laughs> He's like, I'd be honored. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so how did you get started into being a producer and an executive? How did that all come about? Well, 
uh, I got to go back a little bit farther okay. than that because this will come up later in my story. But my um, when my parents first got divorced, I lived in Ohio, and my dad, this was like in the late 70s, early 80s, moved into an apartment next door to the guy who had like the first VCRs. And every night he would bring home VHS tapes and he would copy them um, and broadcast them in the building. And so oh, wow. every night I stayed up watching two, three movies a night. And that's kind of how the passion started. And then I, I don't know, I went to film school and said, fuck it, and moved to L.A. Um, I, I interned for Jodie Foster. Oh, wow. And then, um, and then worked at an agency called UTA first, and then was Revolution Studios and Silver, like you talked about, New Regency. And now I'm on my own. I have a bunch of movies I'm putting together, hopefully, yeah. next year. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited because I'm going to be in one of them. I hope so. so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Another one with Mar Marlon, actually. <laughs> Another one with Marlon, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good thing. So then you've been doing this now for how long, you think? Oh, man, like 22 years. 22 years. That's yeah. what's such up, man. Time. It's such yeah. a long time. I know. It's pretty impressive if, considering I'm 29. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you, uh, how long have you been engaged for? How long have? So um, we got engaged about a year and a half ago. We were supposed to get married this summer in Italy, but COVID. COVID. So Everything crazy. is before yeah. COVID. Yep. That's the number mm -hmm. thing. Before COVID, you're going to get married in Italy. Italy, yeah. All in right. <laughs> Do you want any more kids? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like, you're uh, going to tell no. that. First of all, the audience, I have three kids. My, okay, yeah, yeah, my, right. my, son, the... my son's 16, uh -huh. and my girls are 14 and 10. But Okay, it is, his son is so handsome. Like, literally right? Justin Bieber. Yeah, he's literally Justin yeah. Bieber. I say, I say it's like if Justin Bieber, or no, if Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio fucked and had Justin wow. Bieber. Yes, that's, that's what, what your son that's looks what, like. Yeah, and now he has, does he have the problem with like, I know, I, I know, see like my son, I think my son is an attractive dude and I think I'm going to be that proud dad. It's like, oh, he has women. Are you like that with him? Like, no. how was he like with, with the so, women? Yeah, I, so, I have a different set of circumstances. Okay. I, have, I have two daughters. Right. Okay. So I can't push him in like any direction. My dad used to be super proud of right, what, you right. know, all this shit. And I'll get to those stories okay. again. But, um, but with my son, I can't be, you know, that way with him and not with the girl. So, no, I don't push any equal. of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you're equal to everyone. It's yeah. just you have to be the same. Okay. I hate all of you uh -huh. equally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just I teach him to be respectful right. and all that, but I also don't want him being the slut I grew right. up being. You don't want him mm -hmm. to be that guy. Right. Okay. Uh, but you know that there's going to just be. Miserable. I know because <laughs> I remember when you first told me like how handsome your son was, and then when I came to the house and he opened up the door. And I was like, yo, this kid is really <laughs> freaking handsome. And he's like a good kid too. Yeah, like it's sweet. not I don't think he really knows how attractive he is yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's like my son. My son doesn't even really understand yet that uh girls find him attractive. He's like, ah, oh, get off me. And that's a good quality to have because yeah. at sixteen Modesty. I was yeah, I was trying to get every girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now he might watch this. <laughs> yeah, let's All right. So, uh, so would you have more kids? Would you? Say, yeah, yeah. 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 We're talking about it. You're talking about it. Yeah. But wait, can I say? Yeah, I guess I can say this. You can say this. I gotta uh, filter everything I say because kids and exes and right, 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 right. right. But, but, gonna be watching this, right? But, but um, I had been snipped. And then they can you gotta reverse, reverse that it. shit. Isn't yeah. that can crazy? they? That's yeah. why. Okay, so women, if you get, you know, that, yeah, you, can't, you can't. But men, they can. Yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. So you you got snipped because you didn't want any more kids, and then you got to reverse. How did they reverse it? Dude, they go in with like a microscope and they have to sew Science. those tiny ass tubes. Yeah. Are you awake for that? Or no, did they put no, you no, no, no. Oh, so, wow. So, question though, with yeah. that reverse, do they say that it's harder or yes. like could not happen? Yeah. Like the longer, the longer you go, the longer mm -hmm. you go without, you know. Yeah. It, it, and it, it had been almost 10 years. So. Wow. Do you have to get like tests done or anything to make yeah. sure you're good or whatnot? Yeah, yeah, I, I mean. I did. I'm sorry. That's kind of that's personal. Okay. But I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> because I know someone who did that. So yeah. They're not trying to have kids, but. Whenever I think about someone getting snipped. This is the question I've always wanted to know and ask. So I'm glad you're here so I can ask this question. When you, uh, sh your kids are going to be watching this. <laughs> I just thought of that. But, okay. okay I'm gonna, <laughs> but when you bust a nut, does it come out nothing? 
Or do you still No, like, you still you still have ejaculate all of that. Yeah. It's just it's just not semen. It's just not semen. It's sperm. Sperm. No sperm. It's just nothing coming, but it's still no, yeah. Cause I, I think that would traumatize me if nothing was coming out. I'm traumatized just the thought. The thought. That's what I'm saying though. I always wanted to know, like if you got it Why are we talking it. about nothing? I don't know, because I just it just came out. Uh, I think the audience wanted to know too if it ever nope. just This is very nope. informative. <laughs> audience. Okay, you know, very all those men out there Shouldn't that we be are talking about movies? <laughs> I mean, you can do it and not even tell on that. Is that is that the case? Uh, I'm good. I'm I'm I'm. You're I hear that me. black guys never ever want to get. No. A- absolutely no. not. Why would I want to get? No, yeah. I'm good. Yeah, I'm okay. I want. Listen, I will have 15. Kids Ocean's right. like, I want more kids. <laughs> I do. I want. I want a girl. I do. I want a girl. You're uh, gonna have all boys. Girls are awesome. I'm gonna have all boys. No, you know what? You should have girls. Why is that? Girls are awesome. They are awesome. I want. I want. Uh, and your girls are how? Old? Fourteen and ten. Now do, now, do you worry about them and guys coming through? What's that going to be like? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, look, again, the key to all of it with girls is just building up their self-esteem so they don't right. ever feel like they need to impress anybody. Right, exactly. So the like my, important my thing, 14-year-old could give two shits. Yeah, right, right. So the important thing is, so for all the audience listening and watching, the important <laughs> thing is have a daddy in your life. <laughs> yeah. And if that's the important thing is have a daddy in your life, so you won't be on the pole. That's Chris Rock's thing. <laughs> yeah. That's the, the thing. Yeah, you won't be on it's the true. pole. That's the number one thing is not being on the pole. Yeah. All right, you ready for your story? We yeah. gotta, I'm telling you, we have to have a thing where it goes. I thought about making one. I thought about being like, <laughs> but he did it earlier. <laughs> um, story. Story, 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 oh, story you time, and story time. Like, he wants story to do time. that. Like, with I do. everything. Like, with a Even jingle. with me and, yeah, but like, he wants to do like, da 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah since, so listen. Whatever I'm, it is. I'm always, when I go home, I'm always thinking of ways to make this show even better, right? So, I'm I always, I'm hitting people up. I'm letting them give me feedback, even though I really don't care what they say. No, I I do. I care. (laughs) I care a lot about what they say. Like last week, we had the microphones in the like in the thing, and the cord was down, and that's what everybody said. Your your cord was in the way. We were like, I know, but we started off the show because the way we started the show last week it was was with Bill. Is Bill went first because he's a diva, and he was like, I got to get out of here and go. Which no, he was he was super cool. I'm just saying, he still wanted to go first. So we did that first. And so once we had the cord, we couldn't switch it and have it go back. We had to keep the cord the whole time. So we knew about it. Yeah. Continuity. Continuity. He's, he's just trying to say. He's trying yeah, to that's continue. all it was. We had now to have, have continuity. Now you have microphone condoms. Now, yeah, we have, well, yeah. we had microphone condoms this whole time, uh-huh. which I, I actually like the microphone condom. So, okay. My story. Story with Naveed. Hey, story, 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 <laughs> story, story, story. story, story. I, I promise next week we're going to have some sort of. I'll make you one. Tom's like, will we? Yes, we will. No, he said, Tom is like, Tom uh, is like, uh, Tom is like uh, uh, no. Oh, we will? But it's huh? fine. Naveed is going to make it for us. So. Hey, if you got it on an iPhone, you want to play it in your microphone. No, no, no. We can't do that. We got to do the. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Come on, man. You got something like that. Stop he acting like you ain't. He said they go fuck themselves. Uh, exactly. Sorry, sorry, Stop sorry, acting sorry, like sorry. that. You go boop, 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 boop. Do you, do, you see, do you see a thing that does that? Listen, but that's, you have a computer you have a key, there. You have a keyboard. You have a Tom, keyboard. he's giving yeah, you more you work than you, than you even want. I know that. So Tom I is like, yo. I'll tell him no. Tom is like, I don't want to do any more work. I don't want to press nothing. I'm exactly. running around doing sounds and he's stuff. He's like, you know, you're already having me do a job. He's the information guy. Don't you want that? We want that. No? We've already talked about how much I cost, right? I know we do talk about how much. <laughs> but this is all I understand. All of, you're part of the show now. All you have to do is press a button. Like, he doesn't have a button to press. He does. What he's he has a keyboard thing over there. He's I'll make set. you a jingle. Yeah, he's, he's right. going to make us a jingle. You sing, so you automatically know how I those do? keyboards stuff works. No, I don't. You don't sing? No, I sing. But okay. I don't know what he has You've going on You've been in the studio. There. You know how the producers are, boot, and they do whatever. Anyway, next okay. week, Naveed is going to have a jingle for us. And we're going to have some... Naveed what, coming to the rescue. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm sending it to you on your phone. Exactly. Okay. And Tom, all you have to do is press the button. Okay? Is that fine? 
Is that cool? <laughs> we'll talk about the technicalities. <laughs> we'll talk about the technicalities on the next one. Because you seem to think he can just give me a file and I put a button down. <laughs> that and easy, Ocean. And hit just the button. Here, I'm Listen, handing you this and this is going to happen. That's how no, I No, it think. doesn't. No, it just doesn't happen. I know, like I know that's that. how you think that's it works. That's how it works. It's just he doesn't know. <laughs> I know you think it works like that. <laughs> Okay, can we get back to Naveen? All right, so now it's story time, story time, story time, story time, story time. All right, you can tell us any story you want. Well, I I have a lot of stories. Most of them I can't repeat. Repeat, because your kids are going to be watching this episode. Um, (laughs) But there's one story that they know, and to give it a little bit of context, it involves my dad. You have to understand, my dad was nuts, Mm -hmm. right? Um, So in a little context for him, when I was in college... I didn't turn 21 until senior year, but there's a rule where if your parents came and took you out, they could hand you a drink at the bar. What? They could order a drink and hand it to you. So he would come out every weekend and take me out to the bar. So oh, are you serious? What? Yeah. Wait, where? Yeah. You lived here in Ohio. In Ohio. Oh. Ohio. In I was Ohio, like, that was here that. in California? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, okay. So so this is just context to okay. understand my dad. So one night we're out, my dad was hammered, and this girl was flirting with me. I used to have an earring. This girl was flirting with me, and she goes, I love a guy with an earring. Oh, and my dad leans over and goes, I have an earring on my dick. Oh, <laughs> so, so, oh, my God. That's the content. <laughs> but you had so to let your dad, dad say that. that. You had to let your dad say that because he was buying you drinks. Because he was buying me exactly. drinks. Okay, cool. Uh, and he was cock blocking. Okay. So, <laughs> um, so one t- th- this was right after that, oh. soon after. I was working in a movie theater, and he uh, came over and had been drinking. And he came to, like, cool off and sit in the movie, and then he left. And when he left, he got pulled over by the cops and ended up getting a DUI, right? <clears throat> so uh, if, uh, a few weeks later or whatever, when he had to go to court, he was going to defend himself. He didn't want to hire a lawyer. <laughs> I got he, this. He was going <laughs> to defend himself, and he had no concept or clue about what to do. And he just said I was going to be his witness, right? Like, right. right? And he didn't prep me at all. We, sh- we sh- <laughs> he got a DUI yeah. and blind. didn't prep you. Didn't prep me. Okay, right? I wasn't there when he got the DUI. I was still working. So he had gotten a DUI. He just came to the movie theater and oh. left and gotten a DUI. But I was supposed to, I was supposed to be his witness. So he uh, so he first of all we arrive at the court. And he goes up to the clerk. He's like, I need all the paperwork from the opposing side. And she's like, man. She's like, sir, you need to get that like weeks ahead of time. You can't show up the day of court. <laughs> He's like, I don't need it anyways. Oh, okay. So so when they go so when we went to court, they sequester me. They put me in another room. I couldn't hear what was going on. They had asked him a bunch of questions, oh right? God. And he hadn't prepped me. So then he brings me up, right? Oh, this is really funny. Right, I gotta, I gotta move this chair. <laughs> so he brings me up and uh I'm gonna do this so you can still see it on the camera. But he 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 uh he I'm sitting on the witness stand, he goes, Navid. He was really dramatic. Navid what do you see here? What? Wait, what? <laughs> He's doing this. And I was what? like, what? In front, by the way, in front of the prosecutor, the judge, everybody, right? He's like, what do you see here? I was like, your hand? And he's like, arthritis. What? He goes, you know that I played football, varsity football, at St. Francis Sales High School in 1962, and I got really banged up, and therefore I cannot walk, walk a straight line. And I was like, I'm and I started arthritis. to piece together, like, okay, you can't walk a straight line. Like, that's why I can, right? But I'm like, okay. And, and he's like, and that's why I could not walk a straight line for the police. And I was like, okay. Right? So then, so then oh, I, I, I go sit down and the prosecutor, this is like a, this is like an hour outside the town that he grew up in, right? The prosecutor asks, <laughs> asks him to come back. The prosecutor comes, he says, uh, ask my dad to come back up to the witness stand. And he goes, Mr. McAlergy, you testified that you played varsity football at San Francisco High School in 1962, and you got banged up. That is why you cannot walk a straight line. And he's like, that is correct. <laughs> and the prosecutor goes, Mr. McAlergy, would it surprise you if I told you that I played varsity football at San Francisco High School in 1962, and you were not on the team? <gasps> oh, no. Seriously, did oh, that happen? My dad looks at me, he's like, what's your name? And he what said his name, and he goes, oh, hey, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! What are the are odds? You, oh, right? Oh. What are the odds? Yeah, it was fucking hilarious. Yeah. I just remember, oh, I just remember sitting there going, "Oh shit!" Oh my 
So what? What happened? Oh, they just, oh, my God. oh, it got even better. Wait, by was the way. it real though, or was he fucking around? Like, no, it was real. It was a guy that went to high school with my dad. Oh my God. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, play, and play football. But, but so then, but the, he had told, he, part of his testimony was that he had had a few drinks at lunch, came to the movie, and then left, right? Okay. So he was sober, and, but had admitted to having a few drinks. And the judge was like, okay, well, you're guilty. Is there anything you want to say before exactly. the past sentence? And my dad goes, I would find it preposterous that you would find a man guilty who's never had a drink in his life. <laughs> wait, 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 what? <laughs> wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Wait, <laughs> Your dad said he played football and it has arthritis from a hit. The prosecutor comes on and he's played football. And on, said you weren't you didn't you play. You weren't on the team. team. You weren't on the team. And then when he was then, about to get sentenced, he goes, he said, I never had a drink before. But your dad admitted to already, have going to lunch. Yeah, yeah, so his dad admitted so he, he already having drinks at lunch. Days. How long did he go to jail for? It was like a weekend. I went and picked him up and he told me how much he liked Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> This was his first DUI. Yeah, yeah. And he had to go to jail for a few days. Yeah. Well, wouldn't, wouldn't you send him to jail after that? <laughs> no, I would have been like, you know what? Your story was fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah, Thank you for I making me laugh like, today. I would have been like, <laughs> your story was great. So, so you, you said it like you've been to jail for DUIs. Huh? You said it like you've been to, he was like his first time and he went no, to jail? No, never. No, but people that have DUIs, I know a lot of people have DUIs. You never had a DUI? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's necessary. Do you believe her? <laughs> no. No, exactly. <laughs> you, you, they can't see her face. They can't see her face. She was face. like, uh, no, oh, no. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, you had plenty of Because the way she was like, wait a minute. The first time he went to jail? First <laughs> DUI? <laughs> so that no, means that kidding. she's had several DUIs. Oh, no. None. No, no. Did you want to change your story? No. Like, is that? No. I okay. just I know a lot of people that have had DUIs, okay. and they don't go to jail their first DUI. No. they. He, I mean, that he night they He deserved it after that story. Did, yes. But the best part of that is, is his head. And you're just looking like you had no idea. I had no. I mean, I was like, what the fuck? fuck is he talking about and then <laughs> when, so when the prosecutor said his i was like <laughs> yeah. we need to meet your dad he died but oh, <laughs> oh, oh, wait, 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 he wait, wait, I'm died sorry, but, uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry i didn't even mean he to was, laugh, dri- he was driving he, he was driving drunk one. no i'm kidding oh, <laughs> i'm like that's so funny that's so funny don't do that no is he really dead or yeah, dead? Yeah, okay, all right. He so died nine years ago. Okay. <laughs> but not, but not <laughs> from his drinking third and driving. DUI. <laughs> <laughs> On his third DUI. On his third DUI. Exactly. Wait, can I tell can I tell another funny story? Absolutely. Please do. Please but do. But I just thought of this because of the dr- driving drunk, right? So yeah. <laughs> exactly a year ago today, and I know because it was posted on Facebook, exactly a year ago today, I was driving on the 105, and I was pulled over at a red light on the side of the road. It's a highway, two lanes each direction. And I'm stopped, and I look up, and there's a car doing like 100 miles an hour on this side of the highway, meaning coming at me. Right? Damn. 100 miles an hour, and <laughs> banks off of the median, spins and slams into the car in front of me. as a truck, thank God, because oh it crushed my. the truck, and the truck buckled under, and then he spun around and hit me, right? Wow. That's some scary shit. It was scary. So I, so I like freaked out, get out of the car. I go to the guy in the truck, which is uh-huh. a young guy, and said, are you okay? And he was shaking. And then we go to the uh-huh. guy who had been driving, okay. and he had like air ba- side airbags, so he couldn't really see in his car. Okay. And uh, and he uh, he was like kind of laughing like the Joker, like, <laughs> like so was, you know he's on like drugs up. or yeah. something. Like, it was, he's and it was up. it was like at nine a.m. He thought that was fucking hilarious. Yeah, and it was. You know, he was, was like playing nine, like nine bumper cars, you know. Like, right. <laughs> and so the cops come, and the cop looks in his window and goes, "Oh, uh, he's naked." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, he was fucked so up, he was laughing, fucked naked. up at 9 a.m. naked, driving 100 miles an hour. 9 a.m. And then the fireman goes around to the other side of the car, looks in, he goes, uh, "There's nut juice all over the passenger <laughs> seat." Like, yeah. He had been jacking. He had been jack- oh, so jacking was off. He jacking off as he was driving as down was this driving freeway at 100 miles an hour. So it was crashed. like, so was it like fresh nut juice? Yeah, or was I guess fresh I, I, nut wait, juice. Wait, because it's like. Wow, fresh nut juice. No, because like you know what if when we you see where your it. mind is at. Fresh nut juice. No, because I would have, my question was going to be. I guess he didn't snip no, but himself, no, but, but you were like, like fresh stop, nut. Stop, because like it didn't. But, but wait, wait, my, no. Okay, but listen. Here's my question. 
Why would he know if it was fresh <laughs> nut juice or not? <laughs> like, how would, well, no, this is, this like, is how it could have happened. It could have, I was driving it, and we crashed it on and I'm not wearing a seatbelt. I go through the windshield <laughs> and I go, fresh nut juice. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just like, whatever. It's I can't true. believe that you asked for the fresh <laughs> nut juice. No, because like, like, did it look like he had just, like, it wasn't. No, I can't, I can't no, even. No, 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 no. Fresh so, nut fresh juice. Justin, so, I, so I post this on Facebook, right? And write the part about nut juice. And I call my mom. My mom is Iranian, has a very thick accent. Okay. And she was at lunch with her girlfriends. And I was like, mom, Trust me, just go on Facebook and read what I just posted. So she reads everything I just described, including the fireman going, and there's nut juice, right? And my fresh mom my juice. mom turns to all of her fresh nut, nut juice. My mom turns to all of her friends and goes, You guys, what is nut juice? <laughs> <laughs> what is nut juice? <laughs> Not oh juice. What is that? What I you... wanted to tell the story just because I know my mom's gonna watch this. <laughs> and I want to embarrass the shit out of her. No, that is that's so did uh, your that's mom's really funny. Turn and be like, well, nut juice is what so no. what? What no, happened? Oh, yeah, I what did her friends that part. say? They wouldn't. They wouldn't answer her. They so were then like, my huh? mom came home. They were probably so confused. They they, they, they didn't. They, they wouldn't answer. They and so then yeah. she came home. And she started asking everybody in the family, like at the house, like, what is nut juice? What is nut juice? My cousin texted me, he goes, why oh did your mom God. just ask me what nut juice is? Naveed, what kind of conversation did you just have with your mother? <laughs> why is she asking these questions? <laughs> so, so your dad is, uh, what you have t- what's your dad and what's your mom? Like, uh, he, he was Irish, okay, Irish Catholic, and my mom is Iranian. Right. Yeah, I was and I was a very fucked up childhood. Very fucked up childhood. <laughs> I was an alcoholic terrorist. Oh, all right. <laughs> and they made this and white that's Jesus what, that exactly, white Jesus right? that we see. And he got into film. And he got into yeah. film. That's right. Uh well we appreciate you coming yeah, man. on, man. This Absolutely. was incredible. Yeah. We got two stories from the video. I feel like I could keep going, I but know, you know. Uh, I know you have a lot. We're when we tell the X rated one that my kids can't yeah, hear, yeah, I'll yeah, tell yeah, you we're that. Have to do right. it with kids. See, I know you have a gang of stories, so I, the next time we have you come on, we'll have you come on in a couple of weeks because I know people are going to request you because this is such a funny <laughs> episode. He has so many stories. He has so many stories. Uh, he also, You also live in El Segundo with the place where they have like the best pizza. Slice and pint. Slice and pint. Yeah. I think we're going to have that later yeah. on. Man, it's so amazing. Um, but I'm so excited. I'm so glad that you came on and Thanks, did this. Man. We got Thank two. You. Two of them, and then uh, we're gonna be looking out for some projects that I'm gonna be in. Yeah. Uh, that gonna, <laughs> uh, like I told him before we started, I said if you need uh, X, uh, he's like if you need a background person. No, I, no, background. Background. I, mean, I, I got it. you to be. No, I, mean, I, I told you need an extra. I here's the thing. I told I told everyone I wasn't gonna get my teeth fixed when I first started this podcast. But that's don't not say the case. don't say something going, you're not going to no, do. I'm going to go get my teeth fixed now. Oh, you the just reason, decided. Reason why I did another podcast and he had it super close and I was smiling a lot and I just seen my You act I, like that's the first time you've seen your teeth I up know, close. But I just forget. All and of a sudden I you forget. just want to get your yeah, teeth fixed. Yeah, so now fixed. I want to get it done so I'm going to get it done so I can be a, a, a TV star you don't, and a movie star. You, you just got to own your shit. You said what? You, you just got to own your shit. You no, know? I'm good. What movie stars have fucked up teeth? I feel like a, most do in Karen the beginning. Maybe. Does she? Oh, she has this thing. They're not fucked up. I think it's cute. I feel like a lot of actors and actresses <laughs> start with fucked but up see, teeth, friend, but over so time, I'm not yeah. I'm they'll not... get them no, done. No, but... there's actually a role with a guy with fucked up teeth. You're perfect. Okay. <laughs> I was looking up. Johnny it's Depp so has it. fucked up. Johnny Depp doesn't have nice teeth. It just, it's described as sometimes that makes black, that black makes fat you. Jesus with fucked up teeth. I don't know. I'm just saying. And on that note, we appreciate you guys all tuning in. Make sure you guys tune in. You subscribe. Uh, we're on Apple Music. We're on Spotify. If you don't want to watch us on YouTube, you can do those. You can do Apple Music, Spotify. But I don't know why you wouldn't want to watch us because uh, Christian is hot. We got hot guests like. Uh, Wait, fat how did, Jesus. How'd you just say my name? <laughs> Kristen. <laughs> I, uh, I, apparently, Kristen is a hard name to pronounce. It is. I said Kristen. No, you d- you what did not. I say? We're going to re- Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what I'm saying. So she always makes fun of me when I go, Kristen. 
And so yeah, whatever it is. It's just so pronounced. <laughs> All right. So we appreciate you. So on Spotify, <laughs> uh, iTunes, and of course on YouTube, Ocean Live TV. You guys, please subscribe. Please tune in. We'll have another guest next week. And uh, for the cast and crew in here, we thank you all so much. Uh, tune in next week. We love you all. Peace. Thank you. Yes. Thank Woo! you. My dude. I appreciate it. Peace yeah. out. Bitches.